All right, guys, so this is going to be a little bit of a different video, but I wanted to show you the FV-304. I've been trying to play a lot of different types of tanks. I even started playing some arty. I played like 20 battles in the tier 6 French arty, and I hated it because the um, gun arc was so bad. So I knew the FV-304 existed. I played it many years ago, and I decided to pick this thing up. Right? I figured, like, why the heck not? I think if you're a good player, you, like, understand where the angles are and all, you can play with the FE-304. And so what I do is, and what you're supposed to do with this vehicle, is you're supposed to get to an area where you're almost max view range away from the enemy, maybe a little bit more, right? And because the arc is so high on the FE-304, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm right at the end uh, edge, right, of my range with this particular gun and because it's only like i think like 500 and some change i'm going to put the shell right here i'm actually able to hit the amx but you see how the angle is the arc is so high that you can hit almost anything with this uh with this vehicle so i'm going to kind of fast forward a little bit through this i don't want to make you guys dizzy but i just want to show you what this thing is capable of doing um we actually carried this game i would argue and so, when you have tanks that are going to approach like this, I just put my gun on the heavy line, and you're not restricted, you know, in terms of the buildings that are in your way or whatever, because the arc is so high, you could just shoot over everything, which is ridiculous. It's really OP, man. I don't understand it. I guess because the, the range is so short, maybe you have to put yourself in harm's way, so that that's how they balance it but like this thing is ridiculous man i've been playing this thing in the french arty i felt like i couldn't do anything right because like it's very it's very difficult right to to kind of make a big difference in a game when you're arty because you can only do so much but i don't think any other arty would be able to hit these shots on the t29 here so i'm going to take another one I, this one misses him but the the, the th and another thing with this tank also it only has one shell type, so you don't have to worry about the shell types. It doesn't splash, but you're just looking to have these accurate HE shots that go right into the tank, right? So, I don't know, man. It's just, I felt like, the, I felt the need to show you guys this, right? Because I just feel like this is kind of OP, man. I mean, you're able to, it's basically like the tier 6 leaf, right? And you're able to just continually smack people with this thing. I hit the BZ here for 131, it doesn't even directly hit him. Um, so, it kind of does splash a little bit. And then as these guys are kind of pushing in, watch, I'm going to hit the T-50 through this same window. So hit this guy for 179. And, like, you can really whittle down people's HP. We've done 558 damage. It's not, you know, any kind of hip hip hooray type damage number, right? But I'm telling you, like, the, the ability for this thing to just continue to pester enemies, especially a Tier 7 heavy, it makes a big difference, man. It really does. And so... I don't know, if I was you guys, I would check out this vehicle. 142 into the back of the BZ. If you like playing Arty too, right? Like, I really don't like playing Arty, but this thing is just a completely different animal, right? It really, really is. It's com it's a completely different thing. I think we just missed this shot, yeah. Um, because you have this really high arc, right? And you can, like, hit everything. You only have one shell type, so you're only worried about shooting people with AG. We're going to hit the T-29 again through this window. 123, kind of into the bottom of the turret there. And, like, look at that. We've done 440 damage in a Tier 6 RD, little mini RD to the T-29. 273 to the BZ and 179 to the T-150. And this, this is, like, a considerable amount, considering how much they've nerfed RD. And, like, these shells don't do that much damage. 450, and the pen is only 28. So now we're going to have this little duel with the AMX. I was kind of just trying to avoid him. The RHM is able to clean him up there. I'm trying to hit him. He comes around, kind of spots me here. I'm running around, running for my life, trying to get away from him. Figuring out where I can go to get a shot into this guy. And then he ends up going over here. I try and take a shot into him. It's really tough, man. And eventually we're going to head over to the south side of this map. And I want to show you guys where I actually carried this game. Because I did promise you a carry right so i'm kind of waiting trying to get into a decent position where i know i'll have the range to shoot someone but like with the amx on the move it's so hard to hit people man you know and you know how long the aiming time is on this right so i'm like trying to hit this guy i'm trying to hit this guy it's so it's so challenging with rd man like it's so it's so tricky so now we only have the tiger and the lorraine back at uh, their base 
And I have to find out, like, where the heck I can put myself to, to be of use here, right? Because, again, your aiming time is, like, five seconds or whatever the heck it is. Like, you can't just, you know, hit someone 450 meters away with a snapshot. It doesn't work that way in Hardy. So I'm trying my best to try and support the tiger now. We're going to come up this way. And here comes the Cheeto. And I'm like, all right, perfect. I will likely have a shot in this guy because, again, this is why I wanted to emphasize this to you guys and show you the end of this replay Buildings don't matter. Your arc is so high, you could literally be like right up on top of a building and you can just shoot right over it. So here I'm backing up. I know it I very easily will have the arc to get over that little mound, right? And the French already know way you can do that. I shoot it and I actually pen this guy for 445 in the face, right? And now I'm expecting the AMX. I, I called this perfectly, okay? I expected the AMX 1357 to come around, to try and come around and flank me. And so I turned myself, I don't know if he was paying attention to what um, direction I was facing, but I turned myself and smacked the AMX 1357. 1444, 1,444 damage, yeah, 1444 damage. Um, two kills, guys, and like, this thing is just ridiculous. Uh, it's it's very fun to play, so it's, uh, I mean, kind of a, a not-so-serious video, right, FE 304, but I had to show you guys this vehicle. Like, if you don't know what this thing is, like, if you don't play Arty, you should just go get it. It's very fun to play. It is the most fun Arty that I've ever played. I remember I played it a really long time ago, and it's so mobile, right? So that's what you have to do. That's how you play. This is not the Arty that you sit back in A0 or wherever it is on the map you're playing and just try and take shots the whole game. Like, you want to continue moving with the heavy line, or you retreat or whatever, or just pick a line, right? Pick a line where you can get some good shots and just stay with that line. You move up with them. So it's an interesting one. I figured I would show you guys this. I run it, by the way, with Rammer, Vents, and the um, improved rotation mechanism with the Vent Purge. I think that's the best. I actually Googled to see what was better. Should I run the Aim Tuner instead of the Vents? And most people with the closed already say Rammer, Vents, um, improved rotation mechanism. Or you take away the vents and run the aim tuner. Um, I always call it the aim tuner. It's the um, gun lane drive. But I think the um, the little extra one is called like aim tuning or whatever. So that's why I always say that. So anyway, guys, two kills. Again, 1,444 damage. We penned the Cheeto. Both these guys messaged me after the game. Um, AMX 1357 said Carva. The, it's that word that um, skill uses. I believe, I mean, it's, I guess... In Lithuanian, and I think it means like horror or something like that. But whatever, man, it was funny. I just um, replied to him, and the Cheeto did the, said the same thing. Um, pretty much, he just said like nice shot or whatever. So like this thing is apparently also capable of carrying games at the end. So that's it, guys. I don't I don't, I don't have like end plates or anything like that. But I just thought I would show you this extra video. I know I'm doing so many different types of vehicles but this is what i'm starting to do now i'm trying to branch out to increase my wtr and um i've been playing all kinds of different vehicles we've been playing the smv cc 56 we've been playing the borisk all kinds of different tanks the ts-54 is a heavy so i'm trying to play like all the class types rather than light tanks to try and improve my wtr and just improve my scores in all tanks and honestly the ones i seem to struggle with the most are actually the mediums believe it or not the Borisk actually gave me some problems at first. Now I'm playing it very well, so we'll see how that goes. Catch you for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye, guys.